覚えてますかしら Hi, welcome back to some Kinkoi. This is episode 42. It's been a minute. <laughs> the last time I recorded was in the end of May. We're in July. That's crazy. Anyways,、uh, to put it as short as possible, I was having a rough time. You know, some life things, you know. And I needed time away from. This just because for me, recording takes a lot of my energy. And if I don't have that energy, I'm not even going to bother showing up. We're here to have a good time, not a bad time, you know? Thankfully, I'm a lot better now. I have a lot more energy compared to before. So that's good. And everything is not as good as I'd want it to be. But let's just say it's way better than before. At least enough for me to function, I think. I think. So, with that being said, let's get straight into this video. No, not a lot to say. <laughs> I got nothing really. Oh, you know. Obviously, we could talk about it, but I don't feel like talking about it today, so maybe later. Anyways, we left off where Ellie was being jelly of Maria. I really wonder if in this route they'll also choose to not show Otto. Who Maria is. Yeah. Anyways, oh yeah, I, I forgot to say too. We're finally out of that ugly blue room. It's literally right, literally, literally, it's literally right next to my room. So my bedroom is now my studio room, and the other room turned to be a guest bedroom. So, yeah. Okay, let's forget about all of that and go have some fun. We have a wholesome, wholesome day long date planned. This is actually a first for us, isn't it? <laughs> no. I really hate how loud the music is sometimes. I lower it, and then when it's a different kind of track, I don't hear anything at all. So that's why it's high. We're hanging out on our days off, but had never smoothly managed to do so alone. Things were going to work out today, though. We already had some sexy time after all. What should we do first? Soba is a given for lunch. But aside from that. Hmm. Oh, I've got a good idea in mind, given how this conversation is going. Why don't we go do karaoke? It's a place where you sing. Ah! God! Dang! So, have you guys ever gotten bitten by a mosquito on the foot? Like, not even at the top of your foot, the bottom of your foot, where you like, where your foot hits the ground. I got bit there, and it's so it! Help! I'm gonna put some vapor up on that thing. I can't. I cannot. I hate mosquitoes. You don't hear of it much at all, except for in Japan. What do you think, Yale? They may not have many foreign songs, though. Alright, l we should start things off with Kara. Okay. It was shaping up to be a fun day. Is that so? So, on that note, I could recall something Sylvie had mentioned before. What has Sylvie mentioned before? Alright, she's adopted. I'd wondered what that meant. Me too. Now, the answer presented itself for me. Ella had been happily singing since earlier, and that was a good thing. The Japanese word for music was written with the kanji for to enjoy sound, after all. As long as she had fun, that was what mattered. Is she a bad singer or what? Yes. As long as Ella enjoyed herself, that was enough. Oh, she's a bad singer. That sucks. Yeah, let's pretend we can't hear it. Huh? What? I took my earplugs. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. <laughs> He's so, so bad that he had to pull earplugs out of his ass. <clears throat> I couldn't ask for anything more. 
Yeah, I'm still good for now. You sing, Ellie. My semicircular canals were still reeling too much to stand. I kind of would have hoped they made this, the actress sing terribly. Just because, like, I'm curious how she sounds. And yeah, having fun was most important. Oh, at what cost, though? <sighs> I had a good time, too. Don't lie. So, this is Oh, uh-huh. Well, you have lots of drinks at karaoke, so bathroom breaks are to be expected. Yep. By the way, g no. G no. G what? What is that? Gin? Gin? Not again. Ella, is there anything else you'd like to do? After we finished lunch at the solo restaurants, I felt queasy for some reason, so I was grateful it went down smoothly. Next was, yeah, the school. Oh, I have something to say, I just remembered. So, you know how I've like been gone for like a month, two? Nah, it'd be like three more weeks for two months. But even then, that's still a long time. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I may been, I might have been absent on YouTube, but. The gym has been helping me cope, and it's been great. 10 out of 10 would recommend. We somehow wound up at the usual place. Windsor break was in session, so some clubs had been meeting up. But even then, it was still school for rich girls. There weren't many clubs going legitimately all out, and the overall tone was clearly relaxed, but... Hmm? Yeah... Oh, no. Why would we do that? Uh, I wasn't sure if this was an expected or fitting in a sense coming from Ellen, but it was a dicey development either way. You're saying I should give fencing a try? If it would help reinvigorate Ella to continue fencing, then I didn't mind. Or so I thought. <laughs> Ella didn't bring back one of the stringy types they usually use for fencing, but a sword with a real solid blade. This was... A rapier? What is that? That doesn't sound good. Okay. I took it from her. Ella grabbed one of her own. No. Whoa. She took a light swing at me, so I met her swipe. Leaving a nice metallic clang on impact. I will. Clang, clang, clang. Despite how clumsy and surprised I was, we continued to clash above, below, to the left and right. Up, down, right, left, up, down, right, left. She repeated the same movements in the set sequence. The way we clanged our swords together was fun. It reminded me of a sword fight. Ouch. Okay. I swung up, down, right, and left in order. Ella naturally responded with pinpoint accuracy. Each clash came with a nice clang and sent pleasant recoil through my arm. What kind of recoil? Are we talking about like Orchata Cannon's recoil or we're we talking like swords? If you know what an Orchata Cannon is, good. If you don't, do some homework. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. I like it. So it was like taking practice shots back shots i mean practice shots in the swordsmanship sense it would be cruel to use in a real match but it was fun to do and gave the sense i had forgotten stronger in the process did i read that right i don't know it doesn't matter okay the speed at which our blades clashed increased i continued countered <laughs> strikes as best as i could and then clang 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 pow I wasn't able to keep up when I went to strike her on the right, lost my grip, and dropped my sword onto the floor. Ooh. It certainly piqued my interest. The whole idea was to clash the points of our swords, not to strike out at our opponent's openings. However, by raising one speed, your opponent couldn't remain in sync and would flub on the timing. That was how we would compete. You didn't direct your blade at the opponent and only clashed swords, so the risk involved was quite low. Okay, 
I see what you're saying. I only had to keep the one pattern in mind, but I was a bit slower when we started the second routine. However, any amount of hesitation meant you couldn't keep up with your opponent and you would lose instantly. It was a lot like a game of, hey, look that way, which turned rock, paper, scissors, win, conditioned the turn-taking system. Yeah, sounds like fun. We put on goggles and long sleeves and now they brought thigh pads for some additional protection. Unlike Kendo and Fencing, this was more like a game, but yeah, we totally lost ourselves in it. <laughs> it's fun. Although we ended up clashing our swords to five different patterns. Even an amateur like me is winning more than I would have thought. Our score was around 2 to 8. Given our skill gap in fencing, I would never win 20% of matches based on pure sword handling speed. But since I could take turns launching a one-sided offense, I actually had a major chance at victory. An amateur like me could defeat a pro like Ellie. How could I not have fun? Are you sure she didn't let you? Hmm. Hmm. You must have been pretty immersed. By the time we headed home, the sun had already set. Ella intended on making me dinner again, so we headed back to my place. What did they call what we just did? What are we talking about? Oh, jeez. I do this at least once an episode. Once per episode. That's totally not true, right? But and what I'm trying to say is, in every episode I do this. Every episode. There's never a fail where I go like this, or I accidentally skip dialogue, or I accidentally click log, and somehow we're on this screen. I don't know what it is. It's just involuntarily. Hmm. Sorry. You can learn the rules of game even if you don't know the name of it. Let's play that game. Yeah, that one would get the points across. Ella grinned. Ah, now it all fit together. Was the person you were with when you called them drills Sylvie? <laughs> Nailed it. Kishi it must have already been set in stone which of them would go to the sea swords by then. I see. A game from back when Ellen and Sobi were still sisters, huh? Will Sobi be strong? Bro. She's proven that she's very fit. That's not surprising. Hello sounded a little lonesome. Burr, he said. We were both sweaty, so it was freezing. Let's hurry. Jesus. Let's hurry over to my place. Mm -hmm. I'm fine for right now. Why? She had apparently brought the ingredients already. She took them out of the fridge. There were ingredients way more luxurious than usual, like smoked bacon, gigantic potatoes, and otherwise. Dang. Two hours from now, huh? We did spend a lot of time sword fighting at the dojo. If it's a dish you're proud of, I'd love to try it. I don't mind waiting. With that, we decided to wait for dinner. In the meantime, I took a shower to wash the sweat away. Phew. Phew! Warned myself. Up. Should I keep an eye on this too? Hi. 
Yes, sir. Ella headed to the bathroom. The stew was left bubbling over a gentle flame and gave off a wonderful smell. I sat back and relaxed. It sure is quiet. Oh, look who it is. Reyna turned up with a great big yawn. Good morning. She always had a rough time waking up. Of course the rich girls would be head home. Blah, 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 blah. Of course the rich girls would head home at a reasonable hour. Was that her breakfast? She was munching away on some chocolate potato chips. Ew, what? Chocolate and potato? That's the last combination I would ever put together. What is that? Yeah, relaxed. Mornings like these would be tough to come by for a rich girl. Lude. I always give off sexy pheromones, actually. Jesus Christ, your nose is always, always, and always, always in people's business. I won't deny. She's literally the least innocent one. Stuff too provocative to tell by someone. <laughs> Stuff too provocative to tell the someone so innocent. <laughs> Reyna giggled in response. I would just take this as her own unique way of congratulating me. Alright, maybe it's about time? Oh, Reyna, you had breakfast? <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. <laughs> it was just nighttime and they were making <laughs> stew. That's crazy. So that would have been another sexy time scene. Alright. Interesting. It sure is. Ella specially made cream stew. I asked Ella to set aside some of the stew for leftovers and I put it on the stove to heat up. We got so wrapped up in our love making last night that I only ate it during the break, but I had every intention of stuffing myself silly with it today. This goes for curry too, but stew really does taste better the day after. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> uh... The bigger the potato, the better they taste in dishes like these. Rain approved of how the stew turned out too. She prepared them separately so they wouldn't lose their form, it seems. Yeah, none of us did have any idea. She said she was used to making outdoorsy meals due to her marching experience, like camp food and stuff. Ah, You've got a point. No way was there camp food this elaborate. I wonder why she limited it to camp food. Modesty? Yeah. Which would mean... いとしのオーロに喜んでもらうために、キャンプ用だけじゃなく、普通のお料理も勉強しなくちゃ。いや、包丁で指を切っちゃった。痛い。でも大好きなオーロのため、頑張るぞい。みたいな。わ、すっげ
Nah, I just missed you. <laughs> Why'd you do that for? <laughs> uh oh. I was aware that I was doing something entirely worth the glares, too. The advisor called everyone together. It sounded like there wouldn't be any flashy sparring matches today, but they were going back to the basics. Ella would take the lead during these practices, practices, practice sessions and stood in front of her fellow club members. She blended in with the other girls when they sparred, but she definitely stood out during practices like these. Her movements alone were polished to a different level. Her forward charges were nimble and penetrating. Oh, whoa. In real life combat, her movements would surely amount to a lethal weapon. Completely different from when I sh Oh my god. And she was squeezing out loud for sure. <laughs> How did it turn out to this? Huh? I, I wasn't thinking anything. Never mind. The advisor spoke to me. She must have had time to spar. Spare? Now that I had taken over coaching. I didn't do anything. Why? Alright. I didn't do anything, seriously. She was certainly in a good mood. In some sense, she was the one who had worried about Ella the most, so it was to be expected. I think she was just worried about the club, dude. Huh? What's with you in favors, bro? The practice session ended a couple hours later. Now that it was over, all of the club members made their way out of the dojos and droves and looked to be in quite a rush. Most of the girls were going back to visit their families over winter break, and I bet they felt like they needed to hurry home. We would eventually make our way back to the dorm, but we decided to hang back and relax for a bit. Oh, no. Ella had also let the others change first and called out to me. She worked up quite a sweat. Would there be a chance to shower after this? Hmm? Uh, she broke the ice with a tough subject to breach. Yeah about whether you'll continue fencing or not and how she hopes for an answer before the end of the year mm. of course it was a tough subject for her not so much for me i was still conflicted on whether or not she wanted to continue fencing it was great that ella was weighing the pros and cons and she could debate with herself all she liked however it didn't sound like those around her would stand for it much longer Come on, Ellie. Competing may be off the table since you're a year older than me, but you've still got a lot to offer for the club. You're definitely going to be a captain next year, so you really do need to make a decision. Which means you've got about another week. A little less than a week, actually. Ella would be visiting her country over New Year's, and there was no getting out of it. Her dignity as a knight depended on it. She had to come to the decision before then, no matter what. You think you'll be able to choose? A strange smile crossed her face. The exact look you'd expect from someone exceptionally distressed. And the face I believe she would only ever let me, her boyfriend, see. あ、にじ。正確には昨日からですね。シルビー様がご公務に勤しんでおられるのに私はこんなことしていいのかと。ああ。特に王路にお風呂でヒーヒー言わされた後思いましたね。罪悪感がすごかったです。オールライト。サー
For her to deliberately pick the path of a knight, of one who sacrificed herself for her master? The only explanation could be that she had been that she had special feelings for that master. シルビー様のために生きることが人生の最大の命題です。シルビー様と離れたここ数日で痛感しました。私はこんなにもあの方を慕っているのだと。As her master or as your sister? <laughs> yeah. At long last, I got to hear exactly how Ella felt. She still have thought of Sylvie as her little sister, and those feelings of adoration were alive and well. This was an answer she wasn't allowed to give as a knight, and I was certain she would only ever share those feelings with me. She wanted to dedicate her life to Sylvie, not out of a sense of duty, but as the foundation of Ella's personal system of values. It wasn't really a choice between fencing and otherwise. But in the end, one would get in the way of the other. Yeah, I bet. It was a selfish desire if I had to say, but it was also important. Being all lovey-dovey with me landed squarely in the selfish category too, after all. Ella was completely stumped. I couldn't answer this for her. Then again, maybe this was an improvement over not asking me what she thought, what she should do. Excuse me. Compared to agonizing it all on her own. You've still got some time until you have to answer. Take your time and think it through. For now though, how about we do this instead, Ellie? Grabs her chata cannons. Mm? Oh. Change the subject. I grabbed the... I I grabbed the ra <laughs> the rapier, the rapier, the rapier, meant for ceremonial use rather than for traditional fencing that we used yesterday. The dojo should be free until this afternoon, so we had plenty of time to screw around. I let Turkey with a giggle. <laughs> Why don't we add more patterns? Seven or so today? <laughs> We had ourselves another fun sword fight. Ellie may have abruptly found herself with a time limit to pick which life path she wanted to take. But I hope she moved forward toward a wonderful future. Yeah, we all do. Do we need to get going? We wrap things up after half an hour or so. Just half an hour? I didn't win once today. Yup. Dang, she sure was confident. I quickly put her equipment away and wiped down the sweat covered for her. All that left, all that left, all that's left was to get changed. Can I? She led the way. Ella headed into the woman's locker room. Yeah? Oh, wow, they did it again. That's crazy. A reminder, when there's a white screen like that after a scene ended, it's because they definitely, definitely did the sexy time. December 21st is just kind of thrilling for some reason. There's that too, but also because it's around the start of winter break. And it looks pretty when you land the numbers 12, 21, up in a row. Maybe it's kind of lonesome to realize not many people get to share something so moving. Why? People have really cleared out in droves, haven't they? Out of the over 90 borders, there were less than 10 left. It was still only the 21st and there were 10 whole days left until the year's end, but I guess high-class girls really do spend their vacations with family. Wow. 
And here we had a commoner who didn't need to worry about any of that and opted to stay behind. Personally, I think it's better if you've got a little time to lounge around by yourself on extended breaks. It's sure is sweet to be an everyday commoner. Uh, you're clearly high class, actually. Single misstep and she would have been a princess. <laughs><笑><笑> She carries the game. <laughs> I was grateful for how considered she was being, but I wish she just kept it to herself from the start. That's what you're after? I wondered why she was popping in so early. There's no stew, but she was just about to make me breakfast. Sorry about this, Ellie, but can you make an extra helping to shut her up? <laughs> then, while we spent time with this shameless girl, huh? I'll look. Oh? Despite saying she wouldn't be back for a while, Ryo turned up with Jogasaki. Mm -hmm. Ella's eyes also landed on Ryo. あ、どうも。乗った。なんか用事あるとか言ってたのに。スタジオで機材トラブ。あいとは行こうとしてたところがダメになって一時的に避難してきた。へえ。ねえねえ、二人とも朝ごはん食べた。エルチンが作ってく
Jirasaki had gone out of her way to spread butter and her muffin with a spoon gave her a sour look. They're close, huh? Yeah, definitely. I had at least heard they were acquaintances, but it sounded like they ate together all the time. It was already a shock to learn Ria was friendly with anyone other than me. But with Jogasaki, of all people? Unimaginable, for real. Jogasaki, ew. A proper lady who hated commoners and anything remotely scandalous was friends with someone who was practically scandalousness personified? Oh, no reason. She noticed I was staring. Her blatant irritation made it clear she didn't want me to ask any more questions and cut the subject short. Even though she would ordinarily... What? Say something like that. I'm pretty sure I haven't said a word. She was too on edge to turn the snide comments. Did she hate the idea of people knowing she got along with Ryo that badly? I did it again. The one among us with maxed out communication skills stepped between us to clear the air. Oops. I'm fidgeting with a coin. <laughs>。Ella made these muffins and the butter, by the way. Milk has to spoil? Oh, I was about to say, no way. Not only that, but Reina somehow managed to mingle with Jogasaki and establish a conversation. Wow, shocker. It made me realize all the more how incredible Reina was. あ、何いいえ。あれから気になって調べてはいました。ソーマリアドの。あ、Am I missing out on something? I do not remember that. Suicide. あの時も言ったけど、最初から死ぬ気なんてなかったって。何よりです。ちっ。そういえば調べていく途中で分かったのですが、あなたのお仕事について、シルビー様とオールには伝えるべきですか？どちらもあなたの大変なファンです。O
Hmm, okay, I'll join you. I assume you're coming too, Ria? Shut up, Ayaka. After some convincing, everyone eventually got on board with the idea. This was your suggestion, so you should pick. Oh no, not again. Not karaoke, please. Did you forget your earplugs? Our atypical group of five went around town. In spite of the unwilling look on her face, it was a surprise to have Jogasaki along. Seriously, isn't this actually my first time going on an outing with you, Ria? I guess in this route, yeah. Hmm? I wasn't entirely sure what Jogasaki was worried about. Slept in for once this morning, but Ria came over just past 9 a.m. That's late AF. There was nothing unusual. Rise and grind at 5 a.m. 9 a.m. is too late. There was nothing unusual about her coming over, but it was rare to see her at this hour. Hey, you're going out again? Hi. Frozen fried onigiri. Hmm. The Orchata Cannons Lady. Yes. That's right. Her name is, uh, Ellen. You mean Ellen? She said she had a fencing club today. I didn't want to deal with the fencing club glaring at me the whole time and not to stay behind. And so, around the time I figured it'd be nice to kick back and relax for a bit, you came by. Rio rummaged through her chest pocket, not acting especially bothered. Russell, Russell. Uh. What's up? Assumed she was fetching her cigarettes and got a cup ready to use for an ashtray, however. Seriously? Did you have some sort of epiphany or are you suddenly feeling health conscious? Huh? She sounded exasperated and sat on my bed. Oh yeah, it's been at least a month. I rarely had visitors during the time Ellen and I were pretending to be lovers too. As usual, I couldn't tell what Ria was thinking about, and she started to space out. Oh well, I didn't mind the general vibe of things when she was around. I don't really have a lot of food to eat here, so I guess I'll just snack on this. Want some? Ah, uh, food. If you're fine with instant, manila or freshwater clam. Instant red miso is pricier for some odd reason. Huh? We are briefly left to grab something from a room to contribute toward our meal. Meanwhile, I struck. Stuck the onigiri in the microwave and heated up some water. Cool. We decided to have breakfast together. Fried onigiri with a miso soup served in mugs. <gasps> sure does. The saying, less is more, certainly applied to this situation. We huffed and puffed on savory fried onigiri dipped in a miso soup. Onigiri sounds like giggity. I don't like that. Dipped in a miso soup with rich red broth. Totally makes you appreciate being born Japanese. Hmm. Yeah. 
Her comment had reminded me. Huh. I'm in an international relationship right now. Ellie was a foreigner. Her Japanese was nearly fluent, so it slipped my mind. No, it's because of the Rochata cannons. We've been knowing this. Come on. I wouldn't have fallen for her over something like that. Ryo knocked gently against my treasure chest. Okay, fine. I did have plenty of visual novels in there that were themed around violating female nights. <laughs> what? I fell for Ellie because she is who she is. I told her his to it. Hmm. It's interesting that she says that too because we've already played the route. But like, I feel if I had played this route first and then Sylvie's after, I wouldn't have really like thought much of it. But since we played Sylvie's route first, I don't know, it just feels weird. Or not weird, but just interesting. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. If you don't, dang it. Forget about it. To be fair, Sylvie hadn't even been a princess, much less part of the royal family back in those days. I do. Teasing kids who caught your attention was just something little boys did, and I guess I had been pretty reckless. That was how Sylvie became attached to the one she protected a bunch. To soma -kun. Oh yeah, you haven't seen Sylvie yet, have you? Are you cool with that? I keep forgetting that each route has little differences like that. <laughs> if you're opposed, then I'll leave it alone. Pauses like these sure could put a person on edge. Inkling? What does that even mean? Huh? You brought it up! Way to blow her lid. She was the one mumbling to herself. Ryo finished her meal and politely put her hands together. Yeah? It had been ages since she'd called me that. A little too late on that one. Don't you think that's kind of lofty? Don't worry, Ria. In another route, it did happen. Yeah, lofty was a good word to describe it. Oh, I was like, big tit. What? <laughs> yeah, she's basically her best friend. Well, a friend is a friend. Hmm? I had no clue what she was talking about, but Ryo appeared to have worked through something internally and didn't speak another word of it. Good enough, huh? My actions would bring Ella happiness, and Ella did always keep Sylvie's best interests in mind. Sylvie shouldn't have any issues with that, right? Hmm? Ryo, who had been sitting to my side, suddenly leaned against me. Hey, yo, watch out, bro. Something up? That's so? She was light enough, so no sense being bothered by it. Ryo idled her time away, huddled up to me afterward. Hmm? It wasn't like I didn't get what she meant. Even a single second sounded awfully grandiose though. その2つとも楽しめてるのが一番綺麗なんだと思う。一番輝いてるんだと。シルビーにも教えてやれよ。What kind of drugs are you on? あのデカチチにもな。カラソン。あ、that's <laughs> uh, a good one. カラソン。I'm <laughs> ended there. This episode might be a little shorter than normal but it's okay 
This is all I have time for today. Or at least that's all the time I feel like doing today. And I think that's a good pause too. We're almost at an hour anyways. Or at least I am because obviously I do some cutting, right? But I'm going to leave it at that. It was a nice chill episode. Like I've said one in a million times. Nothing crazy. I am ready though for this route to end. I think with this break that I gave myself, it gave me time to like get over the whole the whole Ella thing. So now that that thing has passed, now I'm like, okay, now I'm good to say goodbye. If it were sooner, then I'd probably be like, man, I'm sad that it's ending, yada, yada, yada. I'm probably going to be sad either way, but definitely a lot less, I think. Otto's over here doing things that Ella likes, and they're both enjoying themselves, so that's nice to see. Uh, the group is the group. Reyna is Reyna. Everything is okay for now. Finally got a break from Sylvie because she's always everywhere. It was nice to not have her in for once. Very, very nice. Anyways, that's all I have to say about this episode. It's great to be back. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys missed me. I missed you guys just a little. Um, what was I going to say? We have a long way to go still with this visual novel. <laughs> so after this visual novel, I'm debating about finishing up the other ones I started, like Cafe Stella. And what was the other one? I cannot remember right now. Wait, no. I did finish one of them already. The big three. San Rambanka. That's crazy. I can't believe I started that last and finished it first. Anyways, I'm thinking about finishing Cafe Stella or just playing a different visual novel that's probably not as long as these because these are crazy, crazy, crazy long. And it's not a bad thing, but it can be a bad thing if you're trying to do other things. And yeah, I could do that to switch it up, but I'd rather just try to kill it all. You know what I mean? Get over it as soon as possible. And I don't mean that in a way where I'm like, ah, let's get this over with. I mean it in like a, let's try to kill it sooner the better because these things are long AF and I do enjoy them, but they're very long. And I would also like to play or read other thing, other, <laughs> other things as well. So yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is episode. This was, this is, was episode 42 of king core if you did let me know by hitting that like subscribe if you haven't already done so share this video if you have any visual novel suggestions let me know in the comment section as well don't forget that i have a second channel i talked about it in the community tab of this channel so i have a second channel check it out i'll be playing games like spider-man horror games rpg games everything else literally this channel is just visual novels now but i have another channel where i play literally whatever i want so just check it out i'd appreciate it Anyways, I'm out of here. Y'all stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time.